Welcome to IIT Bombay, one of India's premier academic institutions. IIT has several state of the art laboratories and safety is a priority for us. So we have made a series of videos highlighting how to be safe. This video is about laser safety. Lasers find wide application in various fields. Lasers have the potential to cause serious injuries or permanent disability if precautions are not taken to ensure safe operation. This video deals with the properties of laser, classification of lasers, principal hazards of lasers, auxiliary hazards of lasers, hazard control measures. The term laser is an acronym for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Stimulated emission of photons is made use of in lasers. Radiation from a laser source differs from that of an ordinary light source because of its following properties. Laser beam is more coherent than ordinary light. While laser radiation consists mostly of a single wavelength, light from ordinary sources is a combination of different wavelengths. A laser radiation is directional. It is emitted in the form of a beam. Whereas, radiation from ordinary light source is scattered in all directions. Based on the potential hazards to the eyes and skin, lasers are classified into the following. Class 1 Class 1C Class 1M Class 2 Class 2M Class 3R Class 3B Class 4 the hazard potential increases from class 1 to class 4. Class 1 lasers have no significant hazards. Class 1C lasers are laser products used on the skin or internal body tissues for medicinal procedures. For class 2 lasers, aversion response offers protection, but direct viewing of the beam can cause injury. Class 1M and Class 2M lasers can be a hazard if viewed through telescopic optics like binoculars. For Class 3R lasers, the risk of injury in most cases is relatively low, but direct viewing of the beam must be avoided. Class 3B lasers can cause eye injury in spite of the aversion response. Specular reflection of Class 3B lasers can also cause eye injury. Class 4 lasers are high-power lasers which can cause eye and skin injury. Specular and diffuse reflection from Class 4 lasers can result in injury. They can also start a fire. We will now present the hazardous effects of lasers. Heating of the tissues Chemical reaction in tissues caused by short wavelength radiation Cell rupture caused by pulse lasers The wavelength of radiation determines the location where radiation is absorbed in the eyes. Visible and near-infrared radiation can reach the retina. The damage to the fovea which helps in visual acuity, can result in the loss of central vision. We will now see the auxiliary hazards related with lasers. Some lasers use dyes as lasing medium. These dyes can be toxic. Take precautions as specified in the safety data sheet. Many lasers utilize high voltages, which can be a hazard during normal operation and during maintenance. Gases used in lasing medium in lasers can be toxic with its own inherent hazards. We next present the hazard control measures for laser operations. Some safety features are incorporated in class 4 and class 3B lasers. 
These include interlocks, beam shutters, key control, etc. And close the laser beam wherever possible if you are working with Class 3B and Class 4 lasers. All windows and doors in the laser room must be made opaque if the laser beam exposure can be a hazard to personnel outside the room. Use laser curtains or partitions to safeguard visitors. Warning lights and laser signage must be displayed on the entrance of the laser rooms using Class 3B and Class 4 lasers. We will now see the safety precautions to be followed while working with lasers. Know the class of the laser before starting work with lasers. Check the label on the laser. Refer the safety instructions given in the manufacturer's manual. A good number of accidental exposures to laser beams happen during alignment. During alignment, the power of the laser must be maintained as low as possible. Prepare an alignment procedure if you are working with high power lasers. Always keep the optical table clean. It is also important to secure optical components firmly to the table to prevent movement or fall of the laser optics. Do not keep materials that can cause specular reflections in the laboratory. Diffuse reflections can be a hazard in case of class 4 lasers. Never look directly into any laser beam. Make sure that you use laser safety glasses if laser exposure can exceed maximum permissible limits. Laser safety glasses are labeled with the optical density value and wavelength for which protection is afforded. You must also take care of your laser safety glasses. Protect the glasses from scratches and damage. The laser system must be disabled after use to prevent unauthorized use. Remove the key from the equipment after use. Let us summarize some of the key points presented in this video. Make sure you are aware about the precautions required for the class of laser you are working with. Implement appropriate engineering and administrative hazard controls while working with lasers. Use laser safety glasses if the laser you are working with is a hazard to the eyes. Thank you for watching and be safe.